BuzzFeed quizzes. You know the ones. Like, what kind of bread are you? I can't even believe what some of these are called. Let us figure out why only three people showed up to your birthday party this year. If you couldn't tell by the title, today we are going to take some BuzzFeed quizzes and just see what happens. Am I going to turn into a cat or actually become the type of bread that it tells me I am? Before we start the video, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that I know you support my content. A large amount of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please, if you have not already, it'll take a second of your time and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into some of those quizzes. We might as well start with build a smoothie and we'll guess your birth month. I might as well just put it up on the screen what my birth month is. It's coming up really soon. I don't know if BuzzFeed can tap my mic and see what I'm saying, but... Okay, choose your fruit. I like strawberry banana most. It's one of my favorite smoothies to drink, so uh, I guess I could start with strawberry as the first flavor. First fruit. Choose a thickener. Yeah, yogurt. Yogurt's usually what I put in there too. Liquid milk. Any power boosts? All of these I have never had, so I'm just gonna go with no thanks. Make it sweet, yes, honey. Finally, mason jar or a tall glass. That's a nice touch but I'll probably just have a tall glass. Ah, uh, I got December. See, what's confusing is I don't know how they define characteristics of people and then correlate them to birth months or any other thing like a type of bread, type of animal, or anything like that. I guess the majority of people who were born in December like strawberry smoothies with yogurt and milk, no power, honey, tall, Glass. Tell us your winter preferences and we'll tell you what kind of soup you are. This quiz isn't in season at the moment, seeing as though it's summer, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Gloves or mittens? Uh, gloves, definitely. Mittens don't, they isolate your use for your fingers and I don't really like that, so another complaint of winter, I'd say. Do you like your hot chocolate with whipped cream or marshmallows? Whip marshmallows all the time. Is November considered a winter month? <sighs> November's Thanksgiving month, and winter's more Christmas. I'm gonna say some of it. If it snowed tomorrow, would you go outside and play in it? Mm. See, no, it's summer. That would be so weird. So no, no. Which holiday Starbucks drink sounds the best? I don't like coffee. I'm this. This whole video is just gonna go to me saying what I like and don't like. I don't like coffee. I don't like mittens. Uh, but I really don't. I I guess I don't like eggnog. I'm gonna go with peppermint. Peppermint. What are you looking forward to most for winter break? Spending time with family, eating great food, traveling, or sleeping in? We don't travel for Christmas break quite as much as, you know, during the summer. Sleep- I do like sleeping in a lot. Eating great food, I love eating. That's tricky, but probably spending- yeah, spending time with family. I got tomato soup! Alright! I like that. Choose some potato foods and we'll reveal if you're an introvert or an extrovert. So first of all, pick your favorite type of potato. I'm just gonna have to go with the classic. I'm, I'm gonna butcher that. Those types of potatoes. Oh, barbecue lays. I could go on about that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> pick your favorite type of french fries. Okay. Um, it really depends on the place, because McDonald's has really good thin fries, and that's Chick-fil-A, and then that's Arby's. I'm gonna go with King Crinkle crinkle cut. Pick a classic potato side dish. Mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. I love potatoes. Potatoes are just great. I love potatoes. I think I've had potato pan- I've- I don't know if I've had real potato pancakes, but I've had something like it, so I'm gonna say potato pancakes. I got an extrovert. You enjoy being the center of attention and meeting new people, okay? You enjoy being with friends and family and doing something energetic and fun. That's pretty much a spot on, if I do say so. Am I turning into a cat? Which sandwich are you? This one's gonna be interesting. I don't know what, pick a website, what this has to do with sandwiches, but I'm just gonna go with it. I'm YouTube guy. Pick a 90s Nickelodeon show. Okay. I wasn't even alive in the 90s, but I'm just gonna go with Ren and Stimpy. I don't care. Ren and Stimpy's good. Pick a donut. Ooh, I want donuts now. Uh, I'm gonna go with glazed classic. Pick a slang word, YOLO, amazeballs, swag, turned up. This video's so cray cray, so I'm gonna choose cray cray. Pick something green. 
Ah, oh, Kermit, love Kermit. So I have to choose between basically these three. I love M&Ms and money and Kermit. I'm gonna go with M&Ms. M&Ms are great. Pick an SNL weekend update host. Oh, I only watched the skits. Seth Meyers is good. I know who he is. Pick an appetizer from Olive Garden. Oh, breadsticks every day. Pick a Star Wars character. How is this relating to sandwiches? Han Solo. Okay. Pick something fluffy. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta go with the kitty. Pick some sprinkles. I would not classify these. These are like tiny little edible metal things. And these are like sadder versions of these. Let's just go with the classic, the classic sprinkles. Pick a shade of gray. This one resonates. Ooh. I love PB&J's. You know what goes together even better than peanut butter and jelly? You and life. Yeah, I will take it. I love PB&J. Potatoes are great. PB&Js are great. I'm I'm doing really well right now. I'm pretty happy. This is one of the greatest ones. Which piece of IKEA furniture are you? IKEA. Choose a pattern. Is that going best in my home or the one that looks cool? I'm gonna go with the one that looks cool. I like this one. That one looks cool. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Oh, hands down. Favorite eight. <laughs> I don't like HGTV. I remember having to watch that when my mom put it on and I just watched Property Brothers because it was the only thing on. So Property Brothers. That was it. It's only three questions. You got the iconic Regolit, Regolit floor lamp. What? I mean, I, I even have a lamp over here. It's my lighting system and it's an Ikea lamp. So yeah, I like to say that I'm a lamp. I'll take it. I'm a lamp. Ladies and gentlemen, we're to the final quiz. Which BuzzFeed quiz are you? <laughs> it's only fitting that BuzzFeed is a BuzzFeed quiz, BuzzFeed quiz. So I'm just gonna go with the first qu- here, wait. Oh, this is, this is pretty long. So this is a good final quiz for me to take. Choose a TV show. Ooh, I saw The Office. I was gonna choose that, but Simpsons. Choose a movie. This, yes, Despicable Me 2 is great. How do you take your coffee? I don't drink coffee. Said that earlier. I don't like coffee. Ooh. Choose a pizza topping. Is there extra cheese? Pepperoni's good. What's your spirit insect? Am I gonna have to take another quiz for that? <laughs> so BuzzFeed doesn't have a spirit insect quiz, so I'm just gonna say... I'm gonna say ladybug. I like ladybugs. Which extreme sport are you? Jogging's an extreme sport. <laughs> I'm not a very risk takey person. So I'm gonna just say jogging. Choose a vacation. Ooh, that's pretty. Puerto Rico, Aspen, Vegas, Sochi, Hartford, Rome. I'm gonna say Rome. That would be really cool to check out the Coliseum and other stuff like that. Choose a writing utensil. Airplane sky. Oh, like with the plane, like flying in the air and making those. Okay, that makes sense. My favorite uh, way of writing is with a mechanical pencil. So I guess pencils right there. Pick a number. What? This is making a little bit more sense now. What type of BuzzFeed quiz are you? It's a lot of different things to choose from. Out of these, 3.14. Oh, that's it? Which BuzzFeed quiz are you? I got which Hogwarts house do I belong in? Which is a pretty popular quiz. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it to see what Hogwarts house I'm in because I actually haven't done this before. So I'm gonna do this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna say she's crazy. I'm obviously right. I got Ravenclaw. I'm clever. <laughs> Your friends often come to you to get advice because you always know what to say. Your creativity allows you to look at things in an out-of-the-box way, and your wit makes you a pleasure to be around. I really appreciate that, BuzzFeed, and I really appreciate you for liking and subscribing to my channel. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to comment down below any other thoughts that you may have for future videos on this channel, and I think that will do it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.